If you follow the paranormal as closely as I, and I'll admit, I really don't follow the day to day of these jabronis, but super friend Lou from the Geeks and Ghosts video cast messaged me a story of longtime target of this show, Ryan Buell, and his arrest. Mugshot shown here. This guy is one year younger than me, and boy, life has not been good to him. Ryan and his show, Paranormal State, was the inspiration for my show, so I guess I owe him a thank you. Ryan had a warrant out for his arrest and faces two felony charges related to theft and stolen property and was also charged with a misdemeanor of theft of services. He was arrested in Florence County, South Carolina. Why those charges? We first have to step back and examine his history. I reported some time ago that Ryan had pancreatic cancer and had asked for money to help pay for his medical bills. Well, that turns out not to be true. His mother had this to say. His mother said, quote, He's ill, but not from cancer. His family knows the real story. You all need to stop believing his lies and stop enabling him. Please. End quote. As far back as 2012, Ryan had planned shows across the country, but canceled them all due to his cancer. Those people never received refunds, and in 2013, he told People Magazine he was close to remission and would be touring in 2014. The tour was called Conversations with the Dead Tour, and our boy, Chip Coffey, which isn't his real name, was scheduled to be on that tour as well. Chip said Ryan and his team were in charge of the tour, and nothing was booked, but tickets had been sold. Chip said this about the money involved. Chip said, quote, I know that the last accounting I had with regards to ticket sales for the Conversation with the Dead tour was in excess of $80,000. End quote. That is a lot of money, and most of it, if not all of it, hasn't been refunded. Ryan has also sold merchandise, but has never delivered the goods. His latest scam was selling private phone calls for $100 a pop on Twitch and even charging people to watch him on Twitch. Thanks to Lou for that little bit of information. You want to know the sad thing? People kept giving this guy money, but it looks like it all came to a head and finally caught up with him. His mother had this to say. His mother said, quote, So, as his mother, I beg you all, if you are a true fan, please stop enabling his situation by sending money buying tickets to events that may never occur, buying merchandise, phone calls you may never get, paying money to watch him on Twitch, and giving him offers of shelter. If you truly want to help him, you truly have his best interest at heart, this is how you help. End quote. I hope he is punished appropriately for his crimes. He has to be held accountable for his actions, and he may need additional mental health. Is any of his story true? Did he really see a demon as a child, or was it all one elaborate con to make money at the expense of other people's gullibility? I know which way I'm leaning. How about you? This is why I do this show, and this is why it's important to me to speak out because of guys like Ryan, out to make a quick buck. That is why I won't stop doing my show. And if you think the work I do is important, please think about becoming a member at patreon.com PSA. And unlike Ryan, I actually deliver on my promises.